Hi there, um, this is Mr. Chalke. I'm a professional teacher and tutor for Accounting Business Studies EMS as well as research. If you're having any problem with these subjects, please get in touch with me and I will make your academic problems a thing of the past. Now, in this lesson, I'm going to focus on how to calculate the total repurchase price of shares whenever um, you are doing a cash flow statement. I actually want to help you to calculate the total money that would be used um, you know to buy those repurchase shares because i saw that it's a common question it's a question that is always mostly the 80 percent 90 percent there in all the cash flow um questions that i've seen so i thought you know what this is very important let me then teach about it so it's going to be our focus on this lesson so now here i have a question paper with me that i've taken from the department of education and it was written in uh, January 2018, but when I compare the questions, it's similar to what is lately being written. So I thought it's going to be helpful, you know, for us. And here the financial year is ending. According to the information, um, they're telling us that the financial year is ending on 28 February 2018. But for us, remember, the focus is going to be on the funds that we used to repurchase shares because this is a challenge for many learners. So that's what I want to look at. Okay. But we know that our year is ending on 28 February, which means our year will start on 1 March uh, 2017. So we are going to look at the information that can help us to get those funds. And this question is only taking 5 marks. 5 marks might seem like nothing, but it's actually a lot. If you don't believe me, Shorter than your note level. Now, we have to look for uh, the ordinary share capital uh, adjustment. And here they're telling us that according to the ordinary share capital, um, 800 shares were available on 1 March, 800,000 shares were available on 1 March 2017, and the mandate was raised was 5,760,000. And then during the year, additional shares were issued um and then the number of shares was two hundred thousand, but they didn't tell us what was the amount that was actually raised or at what what price were those shares issued so it becomes a challenge for us we have a question mark but we'll see as time goes on and then they also tell us that during the year hundred and twenty thousand shares were repurchased on one january they don't tell us how much those shares were repurchased and this is one of our key areas of interest and then they also tell us that um at the end of the year only eight hundred and eighty thousand shares were available and the total money that was raised up to date was six million five hundred and twelve thousand but here they also uh caution us to note that uh the shares were repurchased at 60 cents above the average price now normally if you were doing the retained income note you were using you're gonna use this are uh, in the retained income okay but because we are calculating the total repurchase price we need to remember that the total repurchase price total repurchase price is equals to average price plus the amount above the average price plus the amount above right we know information about the amount above because we know that they are saying that it was 60 cents above the average price the shares were repurchased at 60 cents above the average share price which is not really a problem so what we need to do since we know where those shares were purchased at 60 cents above what we need to do is to make sure that we firstly get our average share price and normally we are taught that when we and look for our average share price we check how much how many shares were issued before the repurchase and also the amount of money that was raised but if you look at this question that information is not available so which means you cannot be able to get that and then also if you look at uh, the shares issued there's nothing we only know about the number of shares but we don't know anything about um so we don't know anything about how much money was issued or was received so which means we have two question marks and when it's like this it forces you it tells you that the method that you know of using uh of getting the share price average share price using 
a total capital raised before repurchase divided by the number of shares uh, issued before the repurchase will not work. It tells you automatically that that method will not work. Now, if that method does not work, we then check, Hori, um, what else do we have? If you look at this, remember this amount that is here represents um, the total capital raised from all the shares that were issued at different prices and it has also taken into account the repurchases that have happened during um, the years okay so now what we're going to do since we have the number of shares um, issued or available at the end of the year and also the total capital raised at that time through issuing shares we can then take a the the, the remember we'll take um the uh bargain the ordinary shares amount right so remember we're going to say ordinary share capital at closing ne? remember we are focusing on the amount here and then we are going to divide it by ordinary share shares raised okay at the end so i can say at closing so now the first part at the top we are going to focus on the monetary value of those shares that have been ra uh, raised at the end and then at the bottom we are going to focus on uh, the number of shares that have been issued okay for us to be able to raise this amount of capital how many shares have we issued so here we can say just say um issued instead of raised okay so now we're going to check that we firstly have to calculate the average share price so now remember i said your average share price um plus your amount above the average share price In other words, this is the difference plus the difference will give you total repurchase price. So um, some, some information is known to us. So we know that um, our average share price is not known, but the formula for average share price now for us in this question will be equals to um, total capital or ordinary share capital raised at the end of the year so I'll say at closing and then we're going to take it and it will divide by um, we can say we'll divide it by shares issued um, at closing which means at the end of the year then what we will then have to check um we would have to check if our information um is aligning nicely okay so what can we do to test that we can then go there and check what is the total ordinary share capital raised at the end of the year according to here it's six million five hundred and twelve thousand which means we're going to take six million five hundred and twelve thousand and then we we'll divide it by the number of shares that we raised at that time, which is um, 880,000. Then it will give us the average share price. So let's see how much we're going to get. So um, 500, uh, 6,512,000 um, divided by 880,000 will give us seven rand food so which means our average share price is equals to seven rand food now what do we need to do we need to get the difference so that we can be able to calculate that figure we need to make sure that we calculate the difference okay it will make our work to be easy so Let's calculate the difference. What is known to us is that um, the difference, we know that the difference um, was 60 cents above, so which means that the difference is equal to 60 cents. So 
and then remember here we have 740 so which means total um repurchase price will be equals to um 740 and then plus that 60 cent then if we say 40 cents plus 60 cents it gives us one rent one rent plus seven it gives us eight rent so which means the total repurchase price would be uh, eight rent then we are therefore going to say because they've repurchased um 120,000 shares we're going to say 120,000 shares multiply by eight rent then it's going to tell us how much funds are going to be used to repurchase those shares so we're going to say um 120 multiplied by eight then it is giving us 960 in the cash flow remember this you will put it in bracket so which means the total money that was used to repurchase those uh, shares is 960 and maybe let's see uh if i can check any solution for you to see if we are correct here so these are the marking guidelines um where they are showing us so normalize always checking on past question papers if you've made any error but then obviously in the exam you're not gonna have this so but here because we are practicing we can go and look after attempting and then that amount is here you see that's how we did it um but the thing about memorandums is that they don't show you how they got that information how did they get this seven run food they don't show you how they got it so it's very important for you um to have an understanding of how to get such amounts thank you so much thank you for watching if you need help please remember to get in touch with me by using the contact details that are available on the description of this video may god richly bless you shalom